Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we're answering the question, why do onions make you cry? Freeze them, chop them underwater, wear goggles or have a slice of bread hanging out of your mouth. All suggestions for how to stop yourself from crying when cutting onions. But why do these tasty vegetables make your eyes sting? And is there a fail-safe way to prevent the eye-watering effect? To answer the first question, we need to know what it is about onions that triggers the tear-jerking effect. Turns out it's down to a tear-provoking or lacrimatory chemical called synpropanethyl S-oxide which is produced by a series of chemical reactions that are kick-started as soon as the knife goes through the flesh of the onion. This is because the cutting action releases an enzyme called eleonase, which is normally sequestered inside the onion cells. Eleonase breaks down a sulphur-containing substance called allium, which is also present in the onion cells. The result is a substance called sulfenic acid. This is then further broken down by another enzyme called lacrimatory factor synthase into the synpropanethyl S-oxide gas that makes you cry. And because all of these chemical reactions take time to complete, this explains the delay that usually occurs between the first time you start chopping the onion thinking it's all going to be fine and the tears beginning to flow. So why do the chemicals make your eyes water? It's because synpropanethyl S-oxide stimulates sensory nerve cells covering the surface of the eyeball. These nerves respond to the irritant sensation by sending signals via other nerves to the lacrimal gland above the eye. This boosts the production of tears to help wash out the offending chemical. The same reflex helps to flush out other potential nasties like dirt, dust and even bacteria. So why are onions equipped with the chemical equivalent of a chick flick? Scientists suspect that it evolved in the allium family, which also includes chives, leeks and garlic, as a defence mechanism against being eaten by herbivores. An animal chewing at an onion will have a similar effect to a kitchen knife, tearing open the onion cells and triggering the same chemical irritant producing chain reaction. The irritating effect produced in the animal would in theory deter it from ever eating another onion again in future. So what about the old wives' tales of ways to stop yourself from crying? Well, it's safe to say holding bread in your mouth probably doesn't make much difference, but chopping the onion underwater may work. And although you may look a bit silly, wearing goggles is a pretty surefire way to get around it, because the synpropanethyl S-oxide vapour won't be able to get at your eyes and you can chop away in peace. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!